Hi everyone, Lucy here. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, I guess, simply because I've been kind of, um, I'd say, like, distant from everyone. Um, I don't know, I don't really do much these days, but anyway, um, I started collecting, obviously, haunted dolls that you would have seen in my last video. Um, like, none of them have pretty much showed anything besides, like, high EMF readings, um, K2 responses, uh, like, a few orbs here and there, like, in photos, sometimes in videos as well. Um, and, like, out of one of them I've got a voice recording where they're, like, growling, so it's kind of weird. Um, I don't have them, like, all in the one place. Like, I did, but I felt like it was a bit much, so I've kind of got, like, a bunch of them sitting in the garage, like, on a shelf thing, and I've got some of them over here next to me. Um, and I've got a few more coming from America and the UK as well. But these ones, like... There's not so much a story to it, it's more the fact that they wanted them out of the house as soon as possible because they um, state that it moves and it does this and they're not like experienced with that kind of thing so they just kind of want them out of there and you know I only paid like four bucks for it so um, you know there's a few cheapies that I ended up winning so we'll see how that kind of goes down but like, you know, you think about it, that maybe their house is haunted, not the doll in particular, but, like, collecting haunted dolls just kind of comes to a habit, and it does come to an addiction. I guess, like, um, how the Warrens have got their own, um, museum of, like, haunted items and stuff like that. Mine's gonna be just dolls. <laughs> in a matter of time, like, you know, I could probably dedicate a whole room to just haunted dolls, I guess. Um, but, I don't know, we'll just, we'll see what happens with the other dolls, and hopefully we'll be able to get something out of them soon. Um, and just another thing, too, like, it, it's hard to say whether the bad luck that I'm getting is coming from the dolls themselves, because, like, you can't really sit there and say, oh, yeah, I got the doll and then this and this started happening and whatever, but, like, I'll admit, I did start to have a lot of bad luck since, um, I started to slowly kind of bring dolls in, like, yeah, I already kind of had the bad luck before that, but to me, it's like, my life has just gone downhill completely. Um, people see me the wrong way now, like, although I'm a really quiet person now and everything like that, like, I try to get to know people now, and it's like they push me away for some reason, I'm not sure why, like, even if I don't do anything wrong, they just, I don't know, they, they turn on me for whatever reason, and I, I don't know, it seems weird, especially when you know that, like, you haven't done anything wrong, and you know, you talk to them nice and everything else like that and then, I don't know, everything's just turned to shit pretty much and then, like, stuff with me and my ex, like, he won't even talk to me the way that he used to which was weird coming from him as well and just, like, um, other stuff as well, like, family stuff gone downhill um, and, yeah, when I try to make new friends or get to know people, they just find ways to push me away. So, it's kind of like me by myself all the time, I guess. <laughs> and I, I guess you can tell also by this video that I'm different. I'm not as, like, you know, chirpy, I guess you could say, compared to my other videos. Um, I guess I'm just trying to figure out what it is as to why people are treating me this way, especially when I've done nothing wrong. Just sitting there, trying to be friendly with everyone, and like, this bad luck just 
happens to me like it's like I'm jinxed or something I don't know <laughs> maybe um but hopefully it will just eventually pass I guess and by luck some good luck will come my way <laughs> I'm not really sure um whatever it is maybe it's just that um in general people don't like being around me I don't know I'm not going to sit here and like feel sorry for other people and you know stick up for them and whatever like everyone knows what I've been through <coughs> in the past you know couple of months and like yeah I've had people try to help me out and that but at the same time when there's people trying to shut me out push me away for no good reason then I really don't know what to say to that because that kind of thing um, is new to me because I try to be nice as I can to people and I try to do what I can um, to get people to like me because I'm a friendly person but um, I don't know, these things just happen I guess <laughs> and I'm just mumbling on in my video again like I usually do but paranormal wise um, like I've never sat there and like done all this weird stuff to protect myself like some people do because I don't like go to places and do all this like full on investigations and do all this weird stuff like I just live in a house pretty much I take photos and I take videos every now and then <coughs> um but that that's about it like yeah fine you say use protection it's gonna do this and do that if you don't and people get bad luck out of it I guess um in some circumstances maybe that's what's happened to me I, I really don't know um although like I'm a believer in most of the stuff but with the whole stuff about you know like cleansing and like the, the aura or something is dirty and all that other stuff like I don't know I just I'm not really into that kind of thing that much like I don't really believe in that kind of thing and you're probably thinking whoa okay you don't believe that after everything that <coughs> you've said in the past about like all this paranormal stuff and whatever and, like the more I think about it and it's like I've been doing it for years now like this kind of thing and maybe I've been scratched twice two or three times and that was only at the beginning when I didn't know what I was doing and kind of when I first started out um and like since then I like I don't pray I don't wear protection um as in like crosses and stuff like that I don't um do like chants and stuff like that like some people do <coughs> well most people but I don't feel like I have to kind of go to that extent <clears throat> but I always had that fear that if something like that was done to me then I don't know that something would happen I guess <laughs> only because I went to a psychic once and she sprayed this thing over my head that was meant to open my aura or something before meditation and then during meditation she was like saying all this stuff and then I got like a really really bad stomach ache and like a really really bad headache all of a sudden and I was like really really uncomfortable like I had really bad anxiety as well during the meditation when meditation's meant to relax you so I couldn't work out kind of what was going on <coughs> and then after the meditation she said that it was negative spirits or something or other trying to get out of my body or I was under a psychic attack or something like that or it could have just been that I didn't feel comfortable being there and I had a stomach ache and that in general I just didn't feel well that night I guess 
I don't know. And she kind of, I don't know, like, she mentioned that, like, I had a little girl around me. A few people have mentioned that around me. But I've also mentioned that a lot, so they could have heard it from somewhere. <laughs> um, but I don't know what the story is with that yet. I'm still trying to work that out. Um, but that's that side of things, I guess, like with the whole cleansing, holy water type thing. Like, I'm a Catholic. Um, I don't go to church every weekend, like some people think that you would do if you were Catholic. Um, I just do what I have to do, I guess. And as with my dolls, people can say that, you know, in their descriptions from where I bought them from, that, you know, they move or they talk or they, um, I don't know, like, mainly the ones that I got are meant to be highly active ones. So I don't just go for ones that say, um, they're just, like, haunted and kind of that it, you know, you'll get an EVP from it every now and then. Like, it's not like that. I just get ones that say that they're highly active with, you know, movements being seen and, um, hearing voices and, playing with like lights and doors and stuff like that. I get those type of dolls. Um, and I'll admit that they do sell fairly quickly um, and they can actually become quite pricey. Um, like this whole new haunted doll thing is new to me I guess and because I've always been interested in paranormal that's why like I started collecting them obviously. And I'd say that I am addicted to it, but there's going to be a point where I'm going to stop, obviously, which I probably will soon. Like, I've got a few coming from um, America at the moment, and they take ages to come. So, you know, that doesn't really help, because sometimes by the time that you get them, then you forget kind of what that doll was meant to do in the first place. And then some people say that... Um, that the spirit leaves the doll, I guess, before it can even get to you, so that doesn't help either. Sometimes you can just be stuck with empty dolls, I guess. Um, and then, like, you know, you can look at a doll and just kind of sense that there is something wrong with it. Uh, I get that sometimes with them. Um, but there is one that I'm supposedly meant to have that is very very highly active but the funny thing is I haven't seen anything happen with it at all and I've had it for like two weeks now maybe two weeks um, and they say that you need to also I don't know, give them time to adjust to the environment and everything else like that but I mean like if you pick up a doll and you look at a doll and you just don't feel nothing then there's most likely nothing there with them I'm not saying that any of these dolls are like empty or whatever it is with them. Um, I just hate the fact that you know the, uh, the people have described the dolls as being very very active and this and this and this has happened with them. Yeah, I get them and I haven't experienced anything like that at all. Um, I'm not saying that that's the case with every person that lists like a haunted doll on eBay or anything else like that it's just that um, your house in particular could be haunted and that's where the activity comes from especially if it's like a child that's like haunting your house the first thing that they're going to go to is the toys and the dolls it's just common sense um, and like even with me having a supposed child spirit living here of a little girl um, my dolls don't move room to room like some people have said with their homes like yeah America is meant to be the most haunted country or whatever it is um, but like they don't change positions or um, anything like that I mean if I sit there I do a recording with them um, 
or if I kind of like take photos of me in the mirror and I say, oh, you know, can you stand behind me? Uh, we'll take a photo and see what happens. Like with one of the dolls the other day, though, um, I don't know, I was kind of standing near the mirror in the first place anyway with my camera. And I was taking pictures of the doll on the opposite side of the room. And I could feel like this weird tugging type thing on the back of my hoodie. Like it was really, really light though, but enough to kind of think that that was a little bit weird that my hoodie was actually moving. And so, I, I don't know, I just thought, well, I'll take a quick photo in the mirror because that's kind of where I was. And there's like this little bigger thing on my hoodie, like this little white baby thing with like wings or something, I don't know, it's really really weird and then like I took more pictures after that to kind of debunk it but they're all normal the other ones, that was the only one at the time where my hoodie was being moved had this like weird baby angel type thing on my hoodie so that was kind of weird with that uh, little experience but Besides, you know, my lights flickering, TVs going on and off, knocking, uh, doors slamming, uh, taps going on and off, hearing like screams, laughter, all that stuff. I'm sorry, but I don't get any of that. <laughs> Maybe one day, but uh, to be honest, no, I, I, I don't get any of that. But if you know you buy a haunted doll, then I guess maybe you're lucky um, if that stuff does happen some people are more open as well compared to others but supposedly I'm meant to know all this stuff and I'm open yet I can't see anything like that <laughs> um, so I'm going to stop chatting now because I think I've been chatting you for 17 minutes about absolutely nothing whether you like my video or not that's up to you um, I haven't done a video obviously in a while so I guess this was more of just like a update on kind of what's going on with everything and hopefully my next video will be a better video. If you've got any ideas on what you want me to talk about or what you want to see in my videos then let me know because I'm really really starting to run out of ideas with everything. Um, mainly also to the reason why I don't so much care about how long my videos are or the way that they're done is because I don't get paid to do these videos. Um, there are some people that you know they make videos, they get paid um, through Google or whatever but that's disabled on this account so I don't get paid for my videos, it's not why I make you watch them and if I do however upload any type of evidence on my YouTube channel it's not just so you can sit there watch it and I get paid because that doesn't happen um, unfortunately but I'm just letting you know that that's not the reason why I do these videos and I don't get paid by Google I don't get paid by anyone to do any of my videos um, so I guess that just makes everything more real and if you like sitting here listening to me talk then you know stupid reasons then subscribe do whatever you like um, but sometimes it's just good to sit here talk let it out and just hope for the best so um, like I said if there's anything that you want me to talk about in particular or anything you want me to do a video on then just message me or comment the video or anything else like that and I'll see what I can do um, yeah, with garage videos I don't really do them all that much simply because I don't really have time to do that kind of thing anymore and I know kind of lost interest in it I guess but yeah I'm open to hear um, your suggestions and let me know even if it's a different topic compared to like the paranormal that you want me to talk about or anything like that then let me know and I'll see what I can come up with. Thanks for watching.